I'm delighted to be here this morning to deliver the opening address at the Kandahu Government Roadshow 2017, targeting Fiji's isolated rural communities and maritime islands. I would like to extend my gratitude for the traditional welcome ceremony accorded to the government officials and my appreciation to all those who have come from afar to be part of this important event. These roadshow are part of government ongoing and outreach efforts to engage Fijians in remote and maritime islands. Development needs are also identified and discussed during these roadshows. In the recent budget announcement, government has increased the allocation for rural development programs that includes housing, school facilities, access to water, rural electrification, and rural income generating schemes. So I urge you all to inquire with the civil servants, the development partners, and corporate bodies present here today, and how their services could complement the earmark rural development program. During my tour of the Northern Division two weeks ago, we also had a government roadshow in Sagani, the Conroe, which I stated government commitments to rural development. These commitments are not just talks, they are plans that are translated into actions, implemented and benefits to the livelihood and living standards of our people. From 2016, to 2017, government invested over $12 million into Kandahu through assistance in the form of development projects. And the new government, in the, sorry, in the new budget, government will be investing over $1.4 million through the Water Authority of Fiji to fund 14 water projects in Kandahu to be implemented in the next financial year. We are also in the process of constructing 4.9 kilometer railway district road in the 9.7 kilometer Nambukulewu Ra Road, which will benefit 3,000 people, as well as ensuring that the transportation of goods and services to markets will be much faster and cheaper. Government is aware of the economic, uh, economic potential in Kandahu, and it will undertake every effort in implementing infrastructure projects, economic development initiatives, and ensure of an enabling environment to encourage growth. Speaking of enabling environment, as the champion of the Financial Inclusion Task Force, our vision is to improve the livelihoods of Fijians through inclusive financial services. The task force will uh, prioritize those living with disabilities, youth, women, and those in the rural and maritime areas. Financial inclusion, to put it simply, means expanding bank account ownership, regular use of accounts with financial service provider, and access to range and quality of financial services and products and promoting the development of micro, small, and medium enterprises. While you have access to financial services, I encourage you to invest earnings from your dollar and you're gonna harvest to income generating scheme, education for your children, better living condition and savings for future commitments. I urge you to seek advice from our financial institution officials who are here with us on how to spend and invest your earnings wisely. This week, awareness teams have been visiting your communities. I hope you have utilized this opportunity to come up with development plans for your villages and settlements. Take advantage, sorry, take advantage of the services offered during this roadshow to develop new initiatives and broaden your capacity. I would also like to call on traditional leaders, resource owners, religious leaders, and youth of Kandahu to take the initiative in playing a role in the development of your province. I encourage you all to work together with government to create a better community. Each of us has a role to play, and by combining our efforts, we will certainly be able to build a stronger community, a stable one, and a prosperous Fiji. I urge that you look after your homes, your children, your women and the elderly. Ensure that they are protected and respected without fear of violence and shame. Spend quality time with your children. Ensure that they are provided with the best environment and support for their education.
Remember, when you are educating a child, you are molding our nation's future. We should also remember that as, uh, that as we take the long and challenging road towards development, we must not lose focus of ourselves, our values, and our culture. The benefits of development can open up opportunities, but it can also cause you to lose focus of what is important if you do not utilize these benefits wisely. Be also mindful in adopting new lifestyles, such as changes in diet, which can cause health problems such as non-communicable diseases. The latest uh, statistics on NCD's death is horrific. Since the year 2000, Fiji has an average of 1,300 people dying from diabetics each year. We are fortunate to have abundance of healthy foods. Healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables grown in our own very own plantation and gardens. These food are also available cheaply in our local markets. Local markets. Imported foods that come in cans, wrappers and packets need to be taken moderately. We are nearing another important date in our nation's history and I would like you to begin preparing yourselves for the general election next year. It is, your general, it is your responsibility to ensure that you are well informed of the party manifesto's process and procedures required of all voting citizens. I request that you read the party manifestos very carefully since electoral manifesto is a verbal declaration of the intention, the motives, or views of a political party. Manifesto plays a crucial role in, in, in visions of party democracy in leadership and areas that the party will focus on. Once again, I take this opportunity to thank you all for coming in large numbers this morning. I wish to also inform you that there will be a Talano session today where you will have the opportunity to raise your issues and ask questions on relevant matters. I am confident that the next two days will allow fruitful interactions between you, members of the community, and government officials and development partners present here today. Therefore, go out and explore what is, uh, explore what is available, visit the stalls, and engage with the officials who are here to assist you. And I will say that I am going to 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 say that I